5 a.m. any weekday morning. I've just walked up the front stairs at Pebble Mill. Communication centre on the right, Radio Birmingham corridor on the left, at the end of which is the newsroom, first port of call, to read the overnight teleprinters to see if there's a local angle on any of the stories therein. And then a check with our production assistant, Phil Horner, unwinding the box of tapes, scripts and other information which enables us to put out the programme and left by the overnight producer for us. This usually results in Phil having to do some tape editing. Here he is in the ops room. Yes, sticky tape, reel-to-reel -reel tape and plastic jointing tape. How tidy the studio looks before we go in. Can't believe it's that tidy. Turntables for incidental music, yes, vinyl records, top right, the latest technology at the time, endless tape loops or cartridges. Here's the standard local radio racks of equipment found in every local radio station at that time. And there's the controlling part of the operations room, another set of turntables on the left, tape players and recorders on the right, and another panel and a huge clock. There's the reporter's day-by-day -day working tool, the Ewer tape recorder. Reel-to-reel, -reel, one of those tapes will run for a quarter of an hour, stops over long interviews. There's the cartridge, the endless loop of tape used for signature tunes, jingles and tape reports. This is Keith Conlon operating the desk for me. He's playing in tapes and uh, organising phone calls. You can just see me in the stitch and gloom through the window. There's Phil Horner wearing his other hat and headphones doing the sports reporting. He quite enjoyed that, and I don't think he was a particular sportsman. He's now a Methodist minister, by the way. And Peter York, our travel expert, feeding in the quarter-hourly digest of the movements of the planes and the ships in the distant docks and the railways and the buses. And there we are together. The desk's still looking tidy, and we've been on the air for, what, an hour and a half now? This is a typical interview setup. There are only two microphones in the entire studio, so not too difficult for me to control. Note the blue coffee cup, always there. Pre-recording an interview with a lady who is determined to go on a diet. And another one with an RAF recruiting officer, this time at the Birmingham show. Notice the Ford Cortina radio car. Back in the newsroom, and the next bulletins being uh, prepared. Ian Pooler on the left, Maggie Nelson, foreground. And the final shot of me performing at the NEC's first exhibition. All in the day's work for the heart of the nation. <laughs> 